Hi, welcome back to this YouTube channel and my eBay seller's account, GB Hatchery. Today I have an air conditioning specific video. This is about energy and cooling of the house. Basically I'm using a mist kit, so let's get right into the results. I don't want to bore anybody with a big speech. Let's get into the results. This is the before. So here we, you can see my 12,000 BTU air conditioner. This is a frigid air model. I've had it for a number of years. It works excellent right out of the box no need to change anything but it was blowing on the back of my girlfriend's head so I did glue in this box with hot glue I know it's not pretty I'm not super proud of it but the functionality once you turn your head away from it and you're watching the projection wall then we are way more comfortable but I've actually noticed an increase in the efficiency just from the cold air coming out from up here and the warm air going in there but what we have here is uh, the wall temperature 74 degrees and what I've been doing, you can test inside here a few different ways, but I've been testing it right there. So right there, we're at 49 degrees. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the mist kit and see if I get a change in the temperature. All right, so here's my water line. This one goes to the mister. There we go. So there's where I'm keeping the mister. I guess that makes me miss the mister. But that's how much water I'm using. It's not a whole lot. I drift down into this bucket. But it's not a lot. It just drips a little bit. And it will actually just kind of fit in there right like that. And then I did poke a hole in the bottom of it, otherwise it sloshes really bad. And the sloshing can be pretty annoying. So I, I did put, put a hole in the bottom. You can see the hole in the bottom, it keeps it from being really annoying. It's sloshing a little bit, but nothing like if there's no hole. Now I actually broke the fan putting that hole in there. Looks like there's a natural hole right there, but that one is at the very bottom of the fan. So if you end up putting a hole in your air conditioner, like almost, I would say grind it because you can ruin your fan. And I had to weight the fan because a small chip came out of it. I had to put a weight on it to balance it back out. But all the, the blades are there and there's really no problem. But uh, that's the optimal place to drain the fan so it doesn't slosh. All right, here we are back in the house again. Still have 74 degrees on the internal temperature of the house, the wall temperature. And you can hear the misting. It's basically the sound of the mist hitting the fan and the fans blowing it through the coils. All right, so let's check the temperature that we get here. Same spot, 43, 43, 42, 41, 41. All right, so the proof is in the heat gun. It's not massive. It is some though, it does help. I gotta say that it helps mostly during days where it is just extremely hot, like 95 degrees. I actually don't run my mister all the time. I only run it over 80 degrees outside and um, just without fail at 95 degrees. And yesterday it was 95, it probably would have been a better day to do this video, but at about noon today, I turned on the water. It was 54 degrees. I checked the cardboard right here, it was 54 degrees. And I turned on the mister, I waited five or 10 minutes for the cardboard to catch up with the, the air that's going through it, and it went down to 46 degrees. So that's a full eight degrees difference going through here. Now, my wall temperature is 74. So the difference from 74 to 54 and 74 to 46, I mean, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking maybe 20% or so, what is that? Uh, we have a difference of eight, and how many eights would it take to get to 74? 
54 to 20, you know, so yeah, so it's about 20 to 25 percent. Now, it's possible that this is um, kind of cubed, kind of like how much energy it takes versus speed through the air with an airplane. It's usually like eight times. So I don't know if that applies here with, um, with heat. The further down it's going, the more compounded it is. I don't know exactly. I do know that I'm able to cool my entire house with a 12,000 BTU air conditioner. So if uh, you have your air conditioner in the sun and you have a shiny surface, maybe like aluminum siding, and it's hitting that and hitting your air conditioner and everything is just really hot to the touch, then misting could help you. If you have someone else that has an air conditioner facing yours and they're both blowing on the same air, then misting could help you. Um, if you have your air conditioner in a shady spot and it doesn't get over 80 degrees, the misting may not help you very much at all and it might just be a waste. But if you're getting over 90, if you live in New Mexico, I think that the air conditioning, well, of course there's no water in New Mexico, so, you know, obviously it has to, you have to have water as a, a resource that's plentiful to do this. So you would have to be on municipal water where no one's ever heard before it. It just rolls back downhill and everybody gathers it. We have a really high water table here. I could, I could um, drill down maybe 30 feet and I would get water. So it's, water's not really an issue where I live here in Michigan, but if you're in California and they're counting, uh, you know, square centimeters of water use, then I would not, not consider misting unless you have a business and you are talking to your local authorities about what resources are more valuable to use because I know that actually the misting is actually popular for businesses. There's actually a company, um, it's, you know, everything's okay as long as someone's making money. If you're saving money, it's kind of controversial. So as long as there's someone stepping in to save you the money but make the money while they do it, then it's a-okay. But if you do it for yourself, it's kind of like, oh, hey, hold on, Who, you know, what kind of jobs are you trying to cut? I think it's a little bit of pointing the finger though, you know, calling the kettle gray. So um, we're gonna live as far as I know. So I am using this as a technique to lower my cooling costs and increase my ability to cool my house because I don't think this would do a very good job during peak hours. After 5 it would be cool, before 11 a.m. it would be cool, but between 11 and 5 it would probably be a little stuffy in here during the hottest summer days. It would probably go up to 80 or 82 degrees. With this misted, I can keep it below 75 or so. You know, 74 right now, it was like 80 some degrees. On a 95 degree day, with everybody's AC on, it might go up to 76, 78 tops, but just for a few hours. So do I want to put in a whole house air conditioner that can just whip it with no problem? I would, I think that would be nice, but honestly, the $78,000, I don't really want to spend. You know, I just don't really think I want to because it's uh, everyone's individual and that's my prerogative with it being my life so anyway if you're too cool for school do not do this if you uh, aren't in an area where it gets up to 95 degrees don't do this I'm not necessarily recommending this it's just proof in the pudding I just want to show that uh, I do get some benefit is it magical no but you know I just turn it on during peak hours usually three to six hours and it cools my house so much better you can feel it anecdotally. Like you not use it one day and you'll think, hey, it's stuffy in here. You use it the next day, you throw some fans on so it blows into all the different rooms and the whole house, it feels like going to the mall. You know, it's just like, hey, this is air conditioning. So it's really nice. Um, so yeah, if you find yourself in the sun, you find yourself competing with other air conditioners, misting could work for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you make a decision about your air conditioning and the future of your cooling. Always remember you can shop in my eBay store, GB Hatchery. I sell a lot of used items on the internet. Used clothes, shoes, sporting goods, skates, different things that I find around and I sell them on eBay. GB Hatchery is the name. Other than that, I hope you're safe and healthy and I will see you in the next video.